All right, we're gonna solve a problem of finding a derivative using limits, okay? The problem says, find the derivative of the following function using the limit that defines derivatives, okay? The given function says f of x is equal to 5x plus three, a nice linear function. We have to remember the derivative, that the derivative can be defined like the limit as delta x approaches zero of the quotient, the function at x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x, right? Uh, this is very, very important. We have to remember this definition, the definition of a derivative using limits, okay? The first step to solve it is to find the function at x, x plus delta x. That means we replace Instead of x, we write x plus delta x, right? So we, the, we have the function five times x plus delta x plus three, okay? Now we take the formula and we say, um, the function, the, the, the f prime of x is gonna be equal to the limit as delta x approaches zero of the function at x plus delta x, which is this part in blue, and then minus, we're always gonna subtract because it comes from the difference quotient, the, 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 the second part of this. The second part is the original function, f of x, and then we divide by delta x. Remember that the definition of a derivative comes from the slope of the tangent line, right? The slope is delta y on delta x, so we always have delta x in the bottom and it's gonna get infinitely small, delta x approaching zero. Okay, next step is to apply the algebraic properties that we know. If we apply the distributive property in the first term, we just remove the parentheses and the bracket with not any other problems. And in the second term, we do have to apply the negative to both 5x and three, okay? And now we got rid of the parentheses, okay? The next thing we should do is to add and subtract any like terms. For example, we can add and subtract 5x minus 5x, they cancel out, right? And then we can also add and subtract three minus three. And we're only gonna have five delta x over delta x, right? And then this the function is getting a lot more simple. And what we have is that we can divide delta x divided by delta x, right here. We can show that we can divide um, delta x divided by delta x. And the, what we have to evaluate is the limit as delta x approaches zero of number five. Since number five does not have any variable, it's gonna, it's gonna stay as five. So the final answer that we have is that f prime of x, meaning the derivative of the function is equal to number five. This is the answer of the derivative using limits. In a nutshell, we can see that the derivative of the linear function, 5x plus three is equal to five, okay? Later on, we're gonna see that when we have the linear function and the slope, the coefficient of x will be the slope and the derivative, all right? So that is the answer. Thank you so much. See you later, goodbye.